Hello. Uh, so today I spent seven hours at the Renaissance Festival. I'm such a bad vlogger. I got some footage, but it is not in any way complete, so enjoy the footage that I do have, which I will put here. Oh, that's with my eyebrows. Yeah. All right. Hello. And this is perfect, actually. <laughs> We're here at the Renaissance Festival. Sorry, Malcolm, what was that? Oh, I was saying, this is perfect. We've got... I'm All up on three of us. This is the, clearly the band photo. Yeah. <laughs> experiences I had in my life had to do with Hi. the cause. I was in Peru, in the rainforest. And we mm -hmm. come up. <laughs> We're in the fairy forest now. <laughs> so if any of you guys watched a video I made um, a couple weeks ago, uh, you'll know that I was like, I have to be sober for the rest of my life. Um, I had a really terrible experience after I went to the Renaissance Festival last time, which was a couple weeks ago, because yes, I am that person. Um, and basically I got so drunk at the Renaissance Festival that I came home and like passed out after ordering a pizza and was just up for like four or five hours in the middle of the night and just like reevaluated all of my life experiences. And I was like, you know what? This is a destructive force in my life. I need to stop permanently. And, um, well, I'm not sober. And I haven't been sober since then. I mean, not entirely. Definitely have cut down, but yeah, I'm not sober. And I wasn't sober today at the Renaissance Festival. But, and I feel weird saying that because I know that I've done this before on my channel and in my life. Where I'm like, this is it, this is it, I am done, I am not going to do this anymore, I am completely finished, I, you know, um, and I'm trying to, I'm, it's something that I'm working on. Um, that being said, at therapy this week, um, I talked to my therapist about what I wanted to do. Oh, by the way, my therapist was totally abreast of this situation, I am getting professional help. Um... And I said that my goal for this week was to go to the Renaissance Festival and to drive there and to drive back and be sober enough the whole time to do that. And I did that. Like, today I had a few drinks, but I wasn't drunk at any point. And I'm just really struck by how different my evening has been today versus last time where I was like pretty much almost blackout drunk by the time I got home. I had to have somebody drive me, blah, 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 blah. And tonight when I got home, when I was sober enough to drive and I got home, obviously, uh, sober, I just, I start, I, I just worked on things. Like, I felt good enough to continue with my day. I got some things done. I cleaned my apartment. I, I wrote a check. I balanced my budget. Like, that sort of thing. And I feel fine. And I'm not passing out. And I am not ordering a pizza and then passing out before it comes, and I'm not gonna wake up at two o'clock in the morning and be completely miserable for four hours, and this is so much better than what I did before. And I guess that's just what I'm thinking about right now, is that, wow, I, like, actually controlled my drinking today, and wow, my life is a lot better when I do this rather than getting totally wasted. So, I I don't know why I talk about this on YouTube. I guess probably the main reason would be that it's something that I think about a lot and that is a major factor in my life. I'm like reading this book. My feet, by the way, are clean. I don't know if you can see them back there. They look dirty, but... Look at my hair. I just, I just took a shower. All right. And, uh, look at how sunburned I am from today. Um, yeah, it's just sort of something that I'm always thinking about. And I'm sorry that 
I do this thing where I'm like, oh, I'm gonna be totally sober, and then people, like, monkey spotting. Um, and then I feel like I'm disappointing people when I go back on that. And I'm sorry for anyone who's disappointed in me. This is a cycle I've been in for a really, really long time, and I guess it's just kind of... I It's embarrassing for me to put it out there publicly, although if you've been following my blog, you've seen me do this. <sighs> anyway... I've been reading this book called This Naked Mind Control Alcohol, which is about how, even though your conscious mind um, understands that alcohol is not a good influence in your life, your unconscious mind does not understand that. And until you change your unconscious mind about something, then you're going to have this cognitive dissonance. Dissonance? Dissonance? Dissonance. In your life where, you know, there's this internal tension where it's like you know that logically you should be doing one thing, but you act in a way that you know you shouldn't. And so the idea of the book is that they're trying to turn your unconscious mind into a mind that doesn't like alcohol. So it's a self-help book, but it's sort of what I've got right now. And if I... You know, there's just a part of me that's like, hey, you know, I did really good today with the drinking, actually. I did really good. I didn't ruin anything. I was a little bit silly. Um, I wasn't in danger. I wasn't hurting myself. But it's that cognitive dissonance, I guess. It's like, I feel like I did good. And that's what, and this is how I want to drink. This is how I want to drink. I want to drink in a way that's not destructive and in a way that um, I can live with. And I know that this is part of my cycle is that I will have fine days with my substance use and then maybe, a, you know, a few times a month I'll just go completely bonkers and that's, you know, and then that's the point where I say, you know what, never again, I'm not going to do this, blah, 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 and then I, and then I'm like, eh, just a little bit though. I don't know. Um, so yeah, I'm just, I'm feeling good and a little bad tonight so that's it that's the video thank you for watching goodbye